Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm assuming you or someone you love lives with diabetes, which means you know how vitally important it is to manage blood glucose levels. The good news is, diabetes management technologies have improved leaps and bounds over the years through innovations that help you not only live with diabetes, but thrive with it. I'll take you through the pros and cons of self-monitoring blood glucose, insulin pumps, continuous glucose monitors, and smart pen technologies. This way, you can make a decision that best fits you and your lifestyle. One way to keep your blood glucose in check is through self-monitoring using blood glucose meters. These require a prick of the finger to produce a small drop of blood. They're extremely accurate. You can save the results and download them to a computer, and they're covered by most insurance companies. There are a few considerations. One, they only provide a snapshot of your blood glucose at the exact time you test it, and not what has happened in between checks. Two, they don't easily provide you with information about your previous insulin doses and their immediate effects. Three, you will have to prick your fingers several times a day, which can be painful and frustrating. And lastly, meters depend on you to keep a logbook or upload to the computer, which can lead to inaccurate records if you're not extremely careful. A continuous glucose monitor, often referred to as a CGM, is another great option. They use a tiny sensor to test the fluid between the body cells, which check the level of glucose as often as every five minutes. This information is then sent wirelessly to a reader that displays your levels. Most systems have three parts. A small disposable sensor with a small wire that's inserted under the skin that needs to be replaced every few days a transmitter that uses a small device that attaches to the sensor, and a monitor. The monitor is typically smaller than a cell phone, and you can even use your cell phone as a monitor. A CGM often has an alarm that warns you about out-of-target blood glucose levels, which increases safety by allowing you to treat your blood glucose in real time. With continuous glucose monitors, you can easily know where your blood glucose is and where it's going. It automatically checks blood glucose as much as 280 times or more per day. They are accurate and allow you to make insulin dosing decisions based on the glucose level on the monitor. They also give you useful reports on how fast glucose levels are changing and other trends that help you make better decisions about insulin dose adjustments. Please consider there may be a learning curve that requires a comfort level with technology. The alarms can take getting used to and depending on insurance, it can be costly to regularly replace the disposable parts. A smart insulin pen is another solution. It's a reusable injector pen that works hand-in-hand -hand with an intuitive smartphone app. It calculates each insulin dose based on your current blood sugar level, carbohydrate amount, meal size, active insulin, and settings prescribed by your doctor. Smart pens allow you to deliver accurate half-unit doses which are more precise than the whole unit increments that most regular insulin pens use. They help you prevent skipped or missed doses. And if you're not a fan of all the math, smart pens will do the math for you, allowing you to be more confident and accurate about every fast-acting insulin dose you administer. From keeping track of each dose to notifying you when your insulin has expired, smart pens keep you on track. They provide you with all the data you need to share with your healthcare team and easily pair with your smartphone or other tracking platforms. The downside is smart pens are hard to get. The cost can be prohibitive, and like the other devices mentioned here, you need to be comfortable using and trusting technology. Another option is an insulin pump, which delivers insulin through a small plastic catheter called an infusion set. Pumps are small, computerized devices that mirror the way the pancreas works by delivering steady, measured doses of fast-acting insulin throughout the day or on demand around mealtimes. The device is programmed with basal settings to mimic long-acting insulin and bolus and sensitivity settings to mimic your mealtime insulin and correction insulin doses. If you're active and need a change for your body's background insulin needs through the day, or prefer to stop using the pump during an activity such as exercising, these are great. They're safer for people who have frequent low blood glucose reactions or anyone who experiences delays in food absorption because you can customize insulin delivery with more precision. 
Insulin pumps allow you to flexibly adjust insulin as needed. The insulin delivery is consistent and precise, and you only need one finger stick every two to three days. Some things to consider are, there is a risk of infection at the catheter site, and you need to feel comfortable learning and using the technology. Insulin pumps can also be more expensive based on each individual's insurance coverage. I know this is a lot of information, but like I said earlier, technology has come a long way and is continuing to make advances every single day. For example, there's a closed loop system, which is a wearable device that mimics the human pancreas by automatically delivering the exact dose of insulin that's needed. It doesn't replace the actual organ, of course, but it does handle some of the responsibilities. When it comes to managing your blood glucose levels, maximizing your target blood glucose range is the optimal goal. Take time to think about each of the technologies we discussed. Make your own pro and con list, and we can discuss during your next visit. If you want to read more on your own, visit hormone.org. Thank you for visiting today. During your next appointment, we can discuss what you decide and how we can best support you and your loved ones.